T-minus one minute and counting. All systems are reported in a go condition. John Glenn reports he is ready. At the Air and Space Museum today, Glenn, now a U.S. Senator, remembered. People ask, were you scared uh, quite often? And I say, well, not scared, not so frightened that you're, you're, you're paralyzed by fear, certainly. But are you apprehensive? Are you aware of, of some danger if that whole thing would blow up? Uh, certainly you are. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off the MA6 vehicle. You feel the, the surge, you feel the resonance, the power back there, but liftoff is really rather gentle. It's a moment of exaltation, but it's also a moment of great concentration in making sure you do everything that has to be done during that launch phase. Roger, zero G, and I feel fine. Capsule is turning around. Oh, that view is tremendous. And it was tremendous, because you look up and you see nothing but the blackness of space above you, even though you're in the sunshine. Reentry was on target. And the worst turned out to be that the capsule made a lousy boat. While I was bouncing in the water, waiting for the destroyer to come pick me up, I was beginning to get seasick. <laughs> so. Glenn became an instant hero, launched a political career in Ohio, and many think he is now counting down for a possible run at the presidency. That's a decision, though, that remains in the future. Meanwhile, we'll keep our options open. His mechanical partner on that nail-biting day 20 years ago sits not far from the spirit of St. Louis in the Smithsonian, symbol of what one U.S. space official called the end of the beginning.